enjoy your cinema, the physicality training day. I'm really glad to see you all here. As I was just saying there a second ago, this is the last of our training sessions. Uh, we've been working in four different areas around Scotland with different uh, groups. The four areas are in order Fife, Inverness Shire, Arden and Merkin, which I was uh, in Strontine a uh, fortnight ago, and here in Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, we've got Jack here, who's my colleague from Cinema for All, Danny Sheffield. She's come up specially for uh, this session to co deliver it with me. Uh, and we're really excited as well to have uh, Matt Kitson from Driftwood Cinema, who's going to be speaking a little bit about community cinema. create something that would bring communities together, get them talking and not be bingo or a wish night or something like that. So I love film, I love going to see film, I don't like sitting at home watching film on a TV if I can go and watch it on a big screen with a lot of other people and then complain about it and talk about it afterwards. So um, I set up Driftwood Cinema, it's a social enterprise so it's basically a not-for-profit organisation um, all the money goes back into funding it and keeping it on the go kind of thing. Because we believe that people should have access to the sorts of films they want to see wherever they are. So it might be that you're um, really far away from an Odeon or a Cineworld and you just need to bring mainstream films, family films, blockbusters to your community. Or it might be that you have access to those films, but you want to show something a bit different. You want to show people different types of cinema, the cinema that you're interested in, the cinema you're enthusiastic about. Um, so that's what we believe in, and that's why we exist, and that's why we still exist 70 years on. Um, so the way that we help you is mainly through our support and advice service. So you might not have been and had a good rummage around on our website, but it's absolute absolutely chock full of advice. Well, my name is Ron Anderson and I'm part of uh, Danik Village Trust. Um, we have a community hall, uh, Smith Memorial Hall in Darnick, which as I say is the only venue, the only thing that's in the village. There is a commercial cinema about four, four miles away and they do all the blockbuster stuff. But I'd like to be involved in putting on films that perhaps not quite so accessible but mainly about Scotland and the industries of Scotland. I've been in touch with Edinburgh Libraries, as we were mentioned earlier this morning, uh, to look at their film archive, and I'm m mightily impressed with what's available there. So I hope to pursue that aspect. My name's Angela Bauer, and I live in Port Logan, which is uh, quite a remote part of the Rins. And we were lucky in that um, sometime last year, I forget when, um, but Matt came from Driftwood and we saw um, a film called Walk in the Woods which was from Bill Bryson's um, book and it was, it was a success, it was a, good, it was a good evening and unfortunately the people who were really involved with that couldn't come today um, so we're instead <laughs> but we're very interested um, and hopefully we can take something forward and it's been a very useful day, very informative. Equipment. As I said, I have a projector. I have uh, a screen that I, I use at home for slides, but I don't think that's particularly adequate and I don't think an audience would appreciate something a bit rickety. So I'm hoping to glean as much information as I can. And I've already gleaned a lot of information about what equipment will be available if we get a, a successful screening, and I, I hope that's going to be the case. Okay, my name is uh, Pete Machel. Uh, I'm uh, on the committee for the village hall in a tiny little village called Mossdale in the centre of Galloway. Well, we are looking at uh, ways in which we can uh, use the hall fuller, because at the moment it is underused and it's crumbling and falling down and needs a lot more enthusiasm and a bit of building. Uh, they don't want things to happen, so they're quite happy for things to carry on, but um, they ruled out a lot of possible things we could do. One of the few things that sparked their imagination was the idea of a winter cinema. Uh, the population is, shall we say, mature. So uh, what I'm thinking of is a way of uh, 
uh, running classic films possibly which should appeal to that generation get them out of the houses and um, possibly have a themed evening which is one thing I got from the the talk today uh, a little bit like like for example the the lady from Moni Ive was um, uh, having a, a chocolate evening projecting chocolate great idea